hey, what's happening? How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Adam Lewis, you're watching Adam Lewis TV. By the way, that's L-O-U-I-S. A um, few things I want to talk about today regarding AMC stock and the share count. Where is Kenny Griffin and stuff like that? So let's let's get right started. Come on in. Okay, I want to start by saying we're going to talk about some things right now on the channel um, that really not everybody's talking about. I had a conversation yesterday with one of my loyal, avid viewers on the channel. His name is, uh, well, it's Fayim, but it's pronounced Fame, and he's out in New Jersey. I'm sure he'll chime in in the comments section below. We had a conversation. We talked about some things, and... Uh, you need to know about this. So we're going to do a little AMC talk in the beginning. We're going to talk about some things with the DOJ. And then we're going to, I'm going to give you like a public service announcement at the end. So make sure to stick, stick with me towards the end. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. We're growing every day and I'm very happy to have you a part of that. Also like the video when you like the video, I send you blessings, believe it or not. And it also shoots the video up in the uh, YouTube searches so more people can see what we're talking about here and get involved in not only the video, but also the conversation down below. Keep in mind, I'm sure you're aware of this by now, but if you see WhatsApp numbers down there in the comments, trust and believe I'm not dropping any WhatsApp numbers. They're scams, they're fraud. It's just part of YouTube. I don't know why YouTube even allows that to happen, but that's a whole other story. But anyway, Fame and I were talking yesterday, and we know there's currently a DOJ investigation uh, going on. So we just have to be patient. We just have to let those things happen. These guys, believe me, when they come knocking on your door, the feds, 98% conviction rate. There's some YouTubers that know all about that. Um, but that's the deal. So we, we, we got to let patience prevail. You know what I mean? And that's what we're here to do. We were waiting a year already on this short squeeze with AMC. Um, you know, it takes, it takes time for corruption and synthetics to be revealed. I mean, they're looking at this and saying to themselves, Billions of synthetics, the DOJ, they're thinking of themselves, where did they come up with all this? Uh, it's funny. I watched, a, and I'll leave a link right in the description box to one of my Reddit pages, uh, a, a John Stewart interview. Uh, he did a little thing on, a little piece on how Reddit and the community in Reddit exposed a decades-long corruption play in the stock market by Citadel and Ken Griffin and and this model for this payment for order flow. You know, back in the day in the stock market, if you wanted to get involved in the stock game, you had to go through what they invented a broker. You know, this is some normal PUD that graduated high school that uh, went to Wall Street, snorted a bunch of coke, banged a bunch of hookers and became a broker. Okay. And you had to go through the broker in order to get involved in the stock market. And of course they made their commission and hundreds of thousands of phone calls a week they developed and they brought suckers in and a lot of them made money. And then hedge funds came about and long story short, then you came up, uh, Citadel, Ken Griffin and the big boys, they decided to say, well, let's let all the people, the Americans and everybody, all the regular Joes get involved in the stock market. How are we going to do that? We're going to offer them free trades. Yeah. Robin Hood. Steal from the rich and give to the poor, right? This is what John Stewart was talking about. I'll leave a link in the description. Check out the video. It's great. And don't you know who came up with payment for order flow? Do you know what I mean? Wait for it. Wait for it. Bernie Madoff. Remember him? Remember that name? Bernie Madoff made off with all the money. And then the feds took him down. But this is the model 
that Ken Griffin and company have been using with these Robin Hood and other apps. Come on, they took off the they took off, they took away the, the the sell button. Come on, they got a phone call from Kenny G and the boys and said, "Hey, sink the ship is sinking. You got to stop this." And that's what they did. And they're still fighting that. Understand something, GameStop and Fame and I were talking about this. My boy from Jersey, what's up, Fame? Um, it took GameStop two years to start squeezing hard. Okay. Uh, you got to realize that AMC, we've been in this for about a year now. And with all that's going on in the world right now, and I'm going to do a PSA at the end of the video on that. Um, we don't know how long it's going to take. We really don't. We just got to sit and wait. Hold, 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 baby. I'm not a financial advisor. This is no way, shape or form financial advice, but you know, the deal. Um, let's talk about Adam Aaron real quick. Adam Aaron. He's a billionaire. He's got a shit ton of money. And he runs a company called AMC. Um, look, he disassociated himself with Trey. You know what I'm saying? Trey, in Adam Aaron's mind, has become a little unhinged. I mean, you're a billionaire of a company, AMC, and you're going to start dealing with Trey, who has a black dildo in his videos. I saw that. I was like, Trey, is that you? I mean, wh what are you doing, bro? You're obvious something's going on. <laughs> something's happening there. Uh, God bless him. But think about it. Adam Aaron wants nada to do with that. So it'll hurt his company's image. So Adam Aaron could be a wild card if he's a typical billionaire. Um, he's going to look out for his butt and his family. And we know that. So doing a share count, let the DOJ do their job, let them handle this business. And, uh, you know, on the other hand, he is an old cat. My boy fame was talking about, he's an old man. And before he goes to meet his maker and before he leaves planet earth, what a better way than to make good with uh, with the big dog upstairs, if he were to help 10 million shareholders into a squeeze with AMC. So we really don't know, do we? We can only speculate. Um, but that's the way it's going right now. You know, look, you got Boss Blunts and Dr. Meltzer. Uh, they may be correct in, in what they were talking about with Evergrande and the official bankruptcy in the courts. That could be the final straw. That could be the final nail in the coffin that we need to, number one, create a big market crash, which I think inevitably is coming. Um, we've been talking about that on the channel, haven't we? Um, the share count, not a good idea. Uh, like I said, if the DOJ is digging deep, we don't want to mess with them. We don't want to play games with them. We don't want to alter what they're doing because they've been looking at this and saying, you know, how the hell... Are there 10, 10 billion synthetic shares? I mean, you and I can go buy some AMC right this second. If there's no more shares left, what are we buying? And that's what they're doing. So let them uncover their the mess, the tangled web Citadel, Ken Griffin, and these market makers have made. Um, they dug themselves in a deep hole. This is not 2008. This is this is monstrous. This is a monstrosity. That it's going to take, it could take time, it could take some time. But, you know, we just got to let it happen, man. We have no control over that. We're just unga bungas sitting here waiting for payday. It may take a little while. I'm going to tell you straight up. It may take, we may stay, it could be in June this thing starts squeezing. They might just let it run and just be like, you know what? Let the cards fall where they may. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below dying to hear your thoughts on this. Um, Kenny G, where are you, big dog? We're looking for you. Uh, one of the other YouTubers, Lou, had said um, he may be opening up a bank or he's over in the European Union somewhere floating around out there looking for a big bailout on some of these uh, mistakes he made with some deals he'll try to make. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think he's tainted. He's kind of like Putin right now, tainted. Nobody wants to play with that. 
Um, and nobody will play with that. What he's doing over in the Ukraine is just atrocious, unprovoked atro atrocities going on over there. Um, Kenny may be just looking for a, a country that has no extradition laws because it's getting to that point. I mean, come on, man. We, we know what's happening. We know the shares. We know the synthetics. We know the effery that you've been doing for decades. Blows away 2008. Blows away 2008. Um, so who knows what's going on with Kenny? We know he's not in the country. We don't know where he is. Um, and what's Russia going to do as a result of what's happening? Are we getting involved? Are we doing a no-fly zone? Um, what I do know is, you know, it's not looking good. Russia is not a normal player in the world arena when it comes to war and such. He's bombing civilians. He's bombing a nuclear power plant. I mean, really? I'm thinking special forces are doing these things. One of these guys eating MREs and radio went in and, you know, and they're all over the place. Trust me. Don't, don't ever for a second underestimate not only the United States is special forces, SEAL team sixes, Marine Corps. Don't ever underestimate our veterans. Don't ever underestimate, regardless of who's in charge right now, what administration, whatever puppet shows in charge, don't ever underestimate the U.S. government and our military. And not only that, our NATO friends as well. Please don't do that to yourself. And you'll see, mark my words. Um, but Russia could do start doing some effed up things. They could start messing with the, you know, and I think we have security measures enough in place. We are all over this right now. But they could start doing some cyber stuff and, and screwing with the bank and further mess with our banks, mess with 401ks, um, cutting power grids. If they start doing that to the states, it's it's just that we're involved at that point and it's going to be real ugly. So that leads me to my public service announcement. You know, a couple, three years ago, I started getting into stockpiling food, not like not like warmongering and not like, uh, you know, I'm not here to create any FUD or, or, or or any of that stuff. I just want to wait. You, my viewer, I want to make sure that you're aware and at least have in your head. I told you so. You know, I told you something that you might want to consider. Years ago, a couple, three years ago, back in 2000-ish, I started, you know, stockpiling water and stockpiling canned non-perishable goods like salmon and tuna and chicken and six cases of toilet paper from Costco. I had all this stuff just in case, you know what I mean? And people were like, Adam, you're crazy. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, guess what? Then COVID hit and we shut down the economy. We shut down. You couldn't even leave the freaking house because it is BS. Who was laughing then? Daddy was eating lovely. Daddy had enough toilet paper. You know what I'm saying? Right? What if something like that's happening now down the road? We don't know what's going to happen. I better play it safe than so. I'd much rather be more safe than sorry. So my public service announcement to you, my viewer, my friend, my family, is if you were smart, you might want to start stocking up on water. You might want to start stocking up on non-perishable canned goods. You know, like your delicious salmons, chicken in a can. Stockpile those. I mean, at the very worst, what, what do you got? You got some food in the background for a rainy day. But if stuff gets ugly and you're not prepared, man, you don't want to be there. You don't want to be that guy or girl. So I want to thank my boy Fame in Jersey for sharing this information with and having a conversation. We had a, a little dialogue on uh, Instagram. I'm going to leave my social channels underneath in the description box. I'm going to leave the John Stewart piece that you need to watch. It's great. Um, check me out on Rumble. Check me out on Getter, GTTR. I'll leave a link at the bottom as well. That's an alternative to Twitter. Um, and let's uh, let's party, man. Let's rock on. Let's think about what you want to... Let me know in the comment section below what's going on in your world and what your thoughts about this whole video is. Please share the video. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. I wish you, me, the world, really nothing but the best of luck. We all need to live in peace. 
we all need to get paid if you're in the AMC play. And uh, that's what normal, lovely people and families want all around the world is just simply to live in peace, have law and order and not have, you know, some lunatic raining bombs over your head in hopes to a, a last ditch attempt to recreate what the, the past USSR. No, that's ain't going to happen. So don't underestimate the U S please do yourself a favor. Um, God bless America. God bless the world. God bless Ukraine. My, my heart and <clears throat> really goes out to the Ukrainian people, man. I know some Ukrainian people, they're beautiful people. I know Russian people, they're beautiful people. Really? Normal peeps, I'm not talking governments, normal people just want to live normal, happy, healthy, and safe lives. I hope that's you too. Again, if you're leaving scum comments down there, I'm blocking you. I love you, Mina. Have a great day. God bless.